Yo, what up Lucid crew? Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Lucid Rob. And today we're gonna look at videos from all over the internet, videos that you send me and try to figure out what uh, what's uh, what's going on. I don't know what's happening. Uh, the world is crazy right now. We got CERN, we got an eclipse coming, we got NASA shooting rockets at the eclipse. Like, I don't know what's happening, man, but um, let's get into it. <laughs> Why is CERN being reactivated on April 8th, the same day as the infamous eclipse? Supposedly, the particle collider can accelerate protons to a rate that's only 7 miles per hour slower than the speed of light, resulting in 11,000 trips around its ring per second. After CERN started its awake experiment in 2016, conspiracy theorists were convinced CERN was opening portals in the sky when photos taken near the facility revealed strange electromagnetic storms above it. I don't know about you, but that's a little too coincidental for me this eclipse i've been hearing may potentially knock out power internet do all kinds of crazy stuff and then i saw an article like a legit one it's like a legitimate article it's not like from like a you know conspiracy website not that you know real news is <laughs> any more credible like nasa is actually launching three rockets to the moon to test the the atmosphere like the effects of temperature change caused by the eclipse and what it does to the ozone layer something like that supposedly i don't know it's nuts. I, I don't think I've ever heard of NASA caring enough about solar eclipses to shoot rockets at them or heard about solar eclipses causing potential power outages and, and, you know, internet outages. And then on the same day, we have CERN charging up and amping up again on the same day. Even though I'm pretty sure where CERN is located, they won't be able to see the eclipse. But, dude, <laughs> this is kind of crazy. But, you know, that's what we talk about here. It sounds like it's not the moon causing the eclipse in front of the sun, right? It kind of, like, what if it's like Planet X or something? And they're not sending a rocket up there to test anything. They're sending a rocket up there to, like, board Planet X or something? Because I guess Planet X is supposed to cause issues, you know, in gravitational pull of the Earth and, and stuff like that. So, Or maybe we just need to call Bruce Willis and Ben Affleck because maybe it's an asteroid and they're shooting <laughs> rockets at it to try to knock it off course before it hits us. Who knows? I know this is all very big brain conspiracy stuff, but you know, I'm just kind of thinking of different stuff because this all seems very strange to me. I don't know. So let me know what you think because this is all just wild. <laughs> it's just wild. The best way to gain control of the most intelligent, powerful species on the planet would be to completely divide them from the love within themselves. As soon as they are old enough to begin creating an understanding of who they are, force them into a system that teaches them that it is wrong to be yourself if yourself is different from what is accepted as normal. Confuse them about their own biological makeup so that they think that permanently altering their body is the answer to happiness. Require their daily attendance at an institution that makes them focus only on the information that is provided. Make them attend that institution from age five until an adult and repeatedly test them on the information so that it becomes their truth. Give them an explanation to everything so that they never have a chance to make their own assumptions of the world. Scold them and humiliate them if they suggest an opinion that opposes that of their authoritatives. Keep reminding them of how cruel their ancestors were to each other in the past and broadcast how cruel they are to each other in the present. Only show them tragedies on the news so that they live in fear and think the worst of one another. Convince them that their species used to be that of an incognizant wild animal. Make them think that their very existence is so incredibly random that they lack purpose and struggle to make sense of a creator. Tell them that their kind is as smart as they've ever been so that they don't question the integrity of the system that they're in. Provide them idols with artificial beauty and use them as examples of what it is to look perfect so that they are never content with their own appearance and can't help but to compare themselves amongst each other. Create addictive digital platforms that rank them by numbers so that they base their self-worth off of the amount of followers. I mean, honestly, that's that's pretty spot on, right? I mean, I was homeschooled the majority of the time that I went to school, which, which wasn't long, uh, like ninth grade. I dropped out in ninth grade. But I went to public school up until fourth grade. I'm just like until ninth grade i was just you know homeschooled very very poorly i might add uh so a lot of what i know and learned was like on my own just based off of you know my interests and things as i got older which is why i'm still completely trash at math but like i'm pretty good at writing and stuff i guess but public school man it was just i mean it's indoctrination it really is especially nowadays i mean i think it always has been i know that each country teaches you know different history obviously different stories of events that happened between them and opposing countries and you know, each one is, is basically created in a way to make your country look good and others look inferior and, you know, indoctrinates us to, you know, be patriotic and stuff. And, and I am patriotic. Don't get me wrong. I, I love America 
for what it is. Um, I couldn't see myself living anywhere else. I lived in Africa for a short time, and that was great. It's a beautiful country, but you know, I was definitely more familiar with America, and I was very excited to come home, uh, back to the familiarity and the conveniences that we have here um, that we take for granted. But I mean, especially nowadays, man, school is just wild. The stuff that they're they're basically just rewriting history. It's nuts. Let me know. Do you homeschool your kids or kids in public school? Uh, are you homeschooled if you're still in school? Like, let me know that whole thing. I'm, I, it's hard to pay attention to being out of it for so long. But from what I can see on the Internet, it just it does not look good for what's going on in public schools nowadays. There was quite clearly something in the clouds there. Something big <laughs> hiding in the clouds, saucer-shaped. There, there's so much insanity going on right now. So much crazy stuff. I don't know what's real and what's not. And I don't think any of us are. And that's why, you know, these watching these videos and going over there and analyzing them and talking about them is, is fun and also unnerving and important. I just want to know if the aliens are real. I want to know if the things we're seeing are, you know, military vehicles based on alien vehicles. If they're real aliens. If they're coming from inner earth if they're coming from outer space if they're us from the future or another species coming from the future coming back to warn us like hey you know chill your you know cool your jets when it comes to nuclear stuff man uh, you're gonna you're gonna destroy us i don't know what it is but uh i, I really want to know <laughs> that's, that's, that's all i'm saying i just really want to know watch the fire and the and the, like the uh, molten metal spewing off as the bridge collapses watch goes along watch the See that? Look! Little explosions! Okay? Why is a bridge that's been hit by a ship over there having explosions over here? Keep watching! Let's keep watching it! Look! Bang! Explosion, explosion, both at the top and the bottom. Explosion, explosion again. More, more, more smoke coming out of it. Look! On fire as it's going down. There we go, right there on fire. Ready? Look, here's the smoke in the air here. Keep watching. Look, watch it again. Watch. Watch here. Look, fire, 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 fire. See? <laughs> Steam as it hits the water. Funny. Look, more fire. More fire. Loads of fire. They demolished the bridge, people. Wake the fuck up. Distraction story. That's sad. That whole thing is just, just sad. I don't know if it's intentional or not. I don't even know if YouTube's going to let me play this video. Who knows, dude? They always just like... I don't know until I upload videos what clips I'm allowed to show. So a lot of the time I have to remove clips, like really good ones, like this one, talking about current events and stuff, just based on the, the, the topic of the clip. So we'll see. You may not see what I'm going to say now at all because they might maybe delete it. But I've, I've read a few things talking about like basically how it's not right how you know it, it could have been another country or something taking control of the ship or whatever and knocking out the power or messing it up or and then i've read from other you know people like that used to man like large ships in in the navy how if it goes out it literally like manually turning the the rudder is an insane task it takes a lot of manpower and a lot of time so you know based on what the the actual story is they wouldn't have had time to manually turn the rudder enough to you know avoid impact i don't know kind of i don't know enough about it to really comp comment on it and it's it's a tragedy it really is uh it's gonna cause a lot of issues when it comes to import export and obviously above all else the people that were injured and missing it's a very sad story but as far as the smoke and the fire and the explosions i mean there were, it was a ship a public bridge so it had lights it had power lines running through it you snap a power line there's going to be flashes you know, it's like when a transformer blows or um, a telephone pole gets knocked over in a storm or whatnot. Like there's there's going to be small explosions when that power line snaps. There's going to be sparks. There's going to be smoke. There's going to be fire. So that's what that looked like to me. It looked like it, it happened after it broke. It didn't look like it was before, like on some other events uh, that we've experienced here in the United States, in New York with explosions and 
things like that that I can't talk about on YouTube. But anytime stuff like this happens, I mean, my my initial thought is that it's just it's a terrible thing that happened. And it's very upsetting for the people involved and the people even that aren't involved. So it's always a really touchy subject for me to just jump on here and be like, oh, it's conspiracy. It's conspiracy because like we don't know that for sure. And I do think that we should talk about it. And I do think that we should, you know, weigh the possibilities. And if there is something that feels not right, we should bring attention to it. But we should do it in a, a sensitive way, you know, have some empathy and think like, you know, if you were involved in this or had family members involved with this, like how would you want people talking about it? Be kind, show some respect. And it's very hard to do so. I hope I didn't offend anybody on this. I normally don't care about offending people, but things like this, like, I mean, I care more about people than I do, you know, getting down to the quote unquote possible truth or, you know, misinformation. So that's where I'm at with this. Are you currently employed? No. Do you want me to screen you for an attorney? No. You gonna hire your own? I don't need one. Mr. Jones, I never advise anyone to go into court regardless of the charge without an attorney. Uh, uh, Do you want to be screened for an attorney? I don't care. Ah, Mr. Jones, you stated this time you are currently unemployed. I am going to pre-qualify you for a court-appointed attorney. Someone from the public defense, Mr. Jones. Someone from the public record today, January the 30th, 2012. Mr. Jones, I'm here to set your bond this morning. I don't know anything about your individual case. If you do not understand the law that you're charged under, I'll be glad to explain the law to you. You have a charge of possession of weapon during a violent crime and also a charge of murder. You have the right to have an attorney present with you when you go into court. If you cannot afford to hire an attorney, I will be glad to screen you to see if you qualify. That will be based upon your income and then that will be applied to federal guidelines. You have a next appearance date scheduled for March. Yeah, I don't think he's possessed. I think he's just an idiot. Uh, he's, <laughs> I mean, he could have some mental health issues that are making him do that, but... I mean, it seemed too calm and collected afterward. It looked too forced. I think he's just probably trying to get like a like an insanity plea deal or something like that, just to get put in a safer institution by pretending that he's like mentally unstable or something. I don't know, it just looked fake to me. It just it looked way too forced. Yeah. I promised her that I would text her if I again. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Now, in Jesus' mighty name, you are not big. You, you come out of her right now in Jesus' mighty name. You come out right now. You do not get her. Stay. Stay in the name of Jesus. Let go of her. Let her prophesy. That's stupid. I, don't <laughs> I can't take I can't take possession seriously. I don't know. That's I think it's just <laughs> I think it's a mixture of like mental instability and just people like getting in the moment, you know, and uh, just playing it up, just I don't know, just leaning into it. I don't even know if it's for attention. I think it's just like, I don't know, like if you're like doing something and like people seem like invested in it, you know, a lot of the time, like people will like gas it up more and like be a little more um, theatrical with it or just kind of like play into it, you know, like if you're telling jokes or something and people are enjoying it, you're going to want to tell more jokes. Because uh, it feels good. And I'm not saying it feels good to like scream and do all this stuff that this woman's doing. But uh, I don't know, man. It just looks fake to me. Uh, I don't even think she's necessarily like, I don't, I don't think it was like scripted, that kind of fake. But I think it was just like, I don't know, someone having a mental issue and then just like leaning into it. You know, it's like being enabled. Because right? when these people are praying over you and, and saying like, you know, the power of Christ compels you or whatever, like, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's like you, you lean into it more, right? It's like you're enabling that behavior because like, oh, this is a real thing that's happening. Okay. 
boom, you know, take over. So I don't know. Let me know what you think. I don't, I don't really feel that exorcisms are uh, demonic possession, at least not all of them. I think like the movie, the exorcist that's like based on like a, a really scary, you know, real life scenario of demonic possession. I think that that was probably just like gassed up too. Right. It's not, it's like juiced up like the events, you know, from word of mouth or, you know, in the moment it seemed more intense as it, than it was. And it was documented to just be more of an issue than it was. So I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I'm probably wrong. I don't know. Let me know what you think though. I, I have no clue. He's calling. Chair. Is she still okay, there? in that chair right there. There was a little girl, like, like I said, no, no, no bigger than Sarah. Black hair. Well, people don't know how big Sarah is. Sarah's about. What's her Sarah's hair? a six-year-old that we babysit. Is she like that? She has black. She has black hair, pigtails. Her eyes are like red, white, and red dress. She's legit. She's doing this. Is she sitting there? She's like, she has her hands on her lap. Sadistic smile, just doing this. And she's sitting at that chair right there, Jason said. Right there. Imagine being at the hospital and seeing something like that. My daughter's like two rooms down. But yeah, that's a little ghost. A little ghost tale for what Jason saw at the hospital. It would have been a lot cooler if Jason would have got it on camera. Because all we can do now is take Jason's word for it. But if that's something that Jason saw, that's a, that's a nope. That's a, that's a, a primed nope right there. It's a nope arama. If I were to see that stuff, I would freak out. I would just lose and lose it. <laughs> I'm trying not to curse. YouTube doesn't like it when I curse. So, but fuck that. <laughs> Etsylvania, April 2023, 8:40 a.m. I was outside for a walk when I saw a group of people in my neighborhood looking up at the sky. Naturally, I looked up and saw this object hovering above our heads, maybe 200 feet high and 30 feet long. Nobody could make out what it was. A few people had reported it to the police and media. There were no ropes or connections to the ground, but it moved parallel to the ground. Eventually, it drifted away, and we lost sight of it. How big was it? It looked like a tire inner tube. Was it like just flying through the air for a minute? Was it just like chilling? I don't know. That's strange, though. I mean... If it was big, if it was like a big ship and it was like super long like that, then it had to be massive to look like that. But just a little like inner tube, it's like a, <laughs> a UFO the size of a broom handle, just full of tiny aliens. That's what I thought of, uh, <laughs> just, which is dumb. That's a very, very stupid visual to have in my head. <laughs> that's, what, that's what I saw looking at that. I literally couldn't see what that was at all. It could have been a drone or a helicopter or a weather balloon that was not a spy balloon. <laughs> um, I don't know. I don't know what that was. I could barely see what it was. But, you know, thanks for sending the video. That's just all these videos are, are videos that were sent to me. So I'm, I'm watching them. I have no idea what to expect. So uh, cool. You need to Y'all watch this. Jump. Come on, get in here with us. You have Stop to jump. chasing you through the woods. Dude, if you don't jump, like it's going to get you. You have to jump. Oh my God, sir! Touch the water. You swim jump to the boat. Come on, Tom. Here in a few swim, seconds, swim, they Tom, see this swim. thing up on the... Swim. Up, up there on the edge, still chasing you. And it jumps oh, in the oh, damn water. Oh, God, watch. Sad. No. No, we've not seen it. Wait, what is... Dude, what is... I've been scared Oh my too. gosh, dude, did you see that? Oh my gosh, you're too scared. You're you you the same thing we've been seeing. I see it, man. Let's get out of here. Let's find out what that thing was. Oh, man. I'm trying to get the red eyes. Oh my gosh. 
now. What? There Bro. he is. Dude, do you see it? Do you see it? No, no, hold on. Dude, if we get to some camera. You see that? There it is. That's it. Dude, why is Hard he chasing us? I don't know. Look at that damn thing. Oh, my goodness. That is, Dude, oh, my gosh. About to jump in the water. No, watch. It's about to jump in the water. Are you serious? Oh, there it goes. Gosh. Damn. Oh my goodness. Go, go, go. Oh no. I think it's fake. I'm just, <laughs> just remember, that's where my mind went. Because, I mean, it was much easier to see, was it Tom, the guy sitting on the rock? They had the spotlight on him. But then they were no longer shining the, the flashlight on the, the thing that was on the rock, right? So you're thinking, like, man, if we get this on camera, woo, whatever, so on and so forth, it's going to be good footage. Okay, then why don't you shine the spotlight on the the beast on the cryptid you shine it on your friend why don't you shine it on the thing you're recording because you didn't want to see it up close you just want to see a silhouette and red eyes so i don't know little things like that the little stupid stuff like that is is what makes me not believe this a lot of this stuff it's just like if i'm trying to record bigfoot i am if i'm there and i'm being brave enough to record bigfoot i want to make sure that i'm going to use every element every asset that i have to get good footage right and if i have a flashlight that very clearly makes it easy to see my friend sitting on the rock i'm going to use that same flashlight to make it very easy to see bigfoot sitting on the rock so i think it's bs i think you guys that shot that video are bsers and you can't bs a bser mm -mm, can't do it <laughs> it's a, a movie quote from role models you need to watch that movie i am here at bank of america it's 2025 four years after I posted this video. I'm about to show you something remarkable that's going to blow your mind. A famous TikToker, because of TikTok, became famous enough to get picked up by Bank of America to do some modeling for, for them. No other than Chunky's dead. Okay? I'm not making this stuff up. Congratulations. Uh, she makes it. I have no idea who that was. Was that like a joke? Was that just somebody that looked like somebody who was popular on TikTok? Was that an actual person? It's like, can you, someone please explain that to me? I have, I'm so out of the loop, I have no idea. I'm Loki, freaking out right now. I feel like I'm experiencing one of those glitch in the matrix moments. You ever see people talk about those on here? I'm upstairs in our Airbnb. We have guests coming today, so I've been cleaning it and whatnot. I have most of the rooms done. About an hour ago, I did the bathroom. I cleaned it top to bottom. I swept, as you can see, the broom. I mopped and everything. I just went to walk in here to double check to make sure the floors look good. And this is laying on the bathroom floor. Hold on. And this is from a necklace that my husband got me for Christmas a few years ago. I wear it a lot, but I have not been wearing it for the last couple weeks because I've been wearing my gold necklaces. And like I said, I just cleaned this whole bathroom top to bottom and did the floors not even an hour ago. And I have not worn this necklace in weeks. So now I have to go downstairs and look at all my jewelry and see if I have the chain for it in its usual spot. So if we come into my bedroom, I always keep my most worn necklaces right here. Literally, I know it. This is the chain. Yes, this is the chain that it usually sits on. And that was just upstairs on my fucking bathroom floor in the Airbnb. I cannot stress enough that I have not worn this necklace in at least a couple weeks. Because like I said, I have been wearing my gold necklaces religiously. I haven't even taken them off to sleep or shower. I am never going to be able to explain this and it's going to drive me absolutely insane. I'm very happy that I did find it because I would have been upset if I lost this. I really love this necklace. My husband has good taste. What the f though? Bye. Mm, bye. Um. <laughs> It's not very compelling. I don't know, guys. I'm 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 a little more. Uh, I feel like I'm a little more firm today in putting my foot down. I just, I've seen so much trash. I, I mean, with all the stuff coming out and all the like super compelling evidence and stuff like that, I feel like it's also brought just a whole new, bigger wave of garbage clips. Uh, I'm not saying all these clips are garbage. I just mean like people trying to jump on the bandwagon right and and release some stuff that like oh this is creepy creepy thing like lady you took a charm off your necklace and put it on the bathroom floor 
Like, there's, I don't know. Like, show some evidence, you know? Like, we just basically have to, like, take these people's word for it. And, like, the the Bigfoot video I just commented on and, and this one. And I don't know. I don't know. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. That's where I'm at right now. It's Friday. I had a long week. And I want to see some, some damn real alien videos. I want to see some real Bigfoot videos. I don't want to see a necklace charm sitting on a bathroom floor and have to believe some lady that she she didn't lo- almost lose it. She just, you know, found it. It just appeared there. It's, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> it's been activity by by alien or non, non-human technology and or beings that has caused harm to humans. Uh, I can't get into the specifics in a, an open environment, but at least the activity that I personally witnessed, and I have to be very careful here, because uh, you don't, you know, they tell you never to acknowledge tradecraft, right? So what I personally witnessed myself and my wife was very disturbing. Yeah, yeah, I don't know what that was. I have no clue. Uh, I don't know if he's got a glass eye or a lazy eye or if it's like the camera frame rate just making it look weird because it zoomed in and it didn't really like, you know, focus on him. So it just looked weird or, or if his eyes turned into damn reptilian eyes or if he's wearing contact lenses. I don't know. I don't know what that was. It was weird though. It was weird though. Ma, you see this? No. Holy shit. What, what is, the hell is that? What is happening? I see this. Oh my god, what the Yeah, that's pretty terrifying. That's in, that's incredibly terrifying. I would hate to live in a place where I had to deal with that. Those were way too close to wherever they were. If that was their house? Jesus, man. No thank you. I'm good. One of the strangest forests called the Devil's Tramping Ground in North Carolina. It is just this bizarre circle in the woods where no plants will grow and no animals will even cross its path. It's a 40 foot clearing, which is pretty big. And it's said to be where the devil comes to stomp and dance every night. Others say he paces the circle at night as he contemplates what havoc to wreak next. Red eyes are constantly seen glowing here. People put belongings in that circle in the evening. Next day, they've been thrown out. I want to go. I want to see it. I want to ghost hunt. Just because it, like, freaks me out. <laughs> but I love creepy stuff. You know, I love I love creepy, occult, weird stuff. You know? You know I'm like an adrenaline junkie, and that stuff, that stuff, like, creeps me out. So, like, I love it. You know, I love scary movies. I went skydiving, love roller coasters. It just, it's great. So I think it would be fun to visit these places that scare the hell out of me. <laughs> just to experience it. Well, something like this would be a good start. You know, over like a haunted ship or asylum or something like that. That would probably sh myself uh, if I went to. <laughs> something like this I think would be would be good to, to start off. So I don't know. Let me know what you think about that. I'm going to try to work that out. Is this a real UFO caught on camera? Watch closely. They're here. Oh, shit. that was pretty wild. That stuff is, is super compelling to me. I think those are the things that pilots talk about all the time where they're like oh it's super fast little object you know flying around like those i mean airplanes how fast does do commercial planes go 300 miles per hour or, uh 500 miles per hour or something like that let me know in the comments i don't feel like looking it up but that thing zipped right past the plane the plane whatever it was just super fast so it had to have been going an immense speed thousand miles per hour maybe to pass it that quickly in like a blink of an eye two thousand miles per hour i don't know but if that's a living organism if that's like an animal or something like that that we don't know about because it's just too fast to see that's crazy like how much more of that is there like let's assume it's not an alien or, or a ship let's assume it's like something living if it goes so fast that we're just unable to see it until like recently with like you know infrared and and just once in a great while on camera for a split second like this you know how many how many more things like that are there underwater in the sky underground it's nuts it's crazy we really don't know anything at that point all right this is proof of time travel right here look this is mac miller killing it right uh, best of season five season five was seven years ago that was 2013 right now wait for it wait for it 
boom. You gonna tell me Pete Davidson just so happened to be exactly across the screen on camera, giving a sly ass sleazy look? Dude, Pete Davidson wasn't even famous yet. The kid was like 13 years old at the time. He wasn't on Saturday Night Live. He wasn't even found in that episode. He just so happened to be on screen looking the exact same he already looks, giving a dirtbag look because he knows he's going to steal his girl in five to six years. That's proof right there. He, this dude was never in that episode. He just somehow is in there grilling him, giving a sleazy scumbag look. Come on. Rest in peace. Oh, my God. Grow up. That's the dumbest video clip I've seen all day. It's the dumbest one. Of course, he's going to be a little supporting comedic role before he's on SNL, before anybody knows who he is. It's like, like stand-up, you know? Comedians that nobody's ever heard of start doing stand-up. They're still doing things, right? It's baby steps, man. It doesn't mean he's time travel just because he's on TV before he's popular. That's what I'm talking about, man. <laughs> There's so there's so many videos like these nowadays. They're just people just reaching. Just just reaching. Trying to find something out of nothing. It's like, bro, there is there are so many things that are compelling that you could be latching onto. There are so many topics, so much evidence, so much video, so much documentation, so much everything of things that are actually compelling and believable and an a very much possible scenario that we could be working together to figure out project blue beam or something like that and you got people like this that are just like oh pete davidson was on tv uh, before he was on saturday night live and, and he wasn't famous then so it must be time travel because he's mad at mac miller because he's gonna steal ariana grande it's like bro come on just ruin it just ruin it for all of us it's all just all of it okay i think i gotta go <laughs> I'm, getting, I'm getting so worked up but anyway <laughs> i'm not i'm not actually mad so don't worry i did have a lot of caffeine though so maybe that's why i'm all amped up but uh thanks for watching everybody that's the end of today's video uh, if you like what you saw you can subscribe hopefully leave some comments like the video share it whatever you can to help the channel any support you give even just liking the video just one click of a button helps out immensely so i appreciate you all greatly if you have videos you want me to see join the discord the link is in the description below send the videos in the video submission channel and i'll add them to a video an upcoming video um here soon so that being said thanks for watching guys losing crew you're awesome everybody else subscribe join the lucid crew it's great uh we'd love to have you so till next time peace